Um, no, Pinkius, it is, uh, it is not, uh, Sif and Chula. It is, uh, hold on, I suppose we can take this time to introduce it. Uh, it is Glass Dad. Hello. Silent Kenzie Dad. Hi. Neko Dad. Hello. Nico Dad. Hello. Piff Dad. Hello. And Silent Yan <laughs> Dad. I'm not silent. Hello. I didn't realize you guys started streaming already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, fucking welcome to back, welcome back, Dream Daddy, at a higher quality because I fucked with hardware. So that's good. Ooh. Nice. Um, it actually does look nicer. Yeah. Yeah. It was a funky test stream for me on this day. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna post the straw poll because it is your guys' time to decide what dad we date. Boop. Ooh. Which dad, which dad? Yeah. You have your options from Craig, Joseph, Matt, or Brian. Is Matt's name actually spelled with only one yep. T? Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a thank God? <laughs> it's the map it's that we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> it's the map we deserve. I'm not gonna vote because I'm not allowed. You guys in the chat can vote if you want, though. Hmm. I'm not gonna vote either. I won't. <laughs> I can hear Piff silently wait, silently waiting to do his "Where's the Hugo?" option joke. I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's all good. So far, it's looking like it's probably going to be Matt, which I'm down for. Oh. I am most curious about Matt's kids. Matt's kid is really like... cool. Wait. Um... Craig's the one with many oh, I... children. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I messed him up with Greg. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that kid sound, uh, seems nice. Yeah. She's pretty cute. Well, MS Danger, you may be, you might not be lost, but I will tell you, we'll be confused. Because we have so many in-jokes at this point. Yeah, but just started Black and Fox. We're just waiting to see the results of the, uh, of the dad poll. You might want to plug it yep. again, just for the newbies. Here you go. Here's the poll again. Okay. I will give the poll one more minute and then we will start. That one guy looks so much like a werewolf. Which one? Yeah. Um. Coincidentally, the one next to the vampire guy. Oh, uh, you mean Robert? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Red, the red the fringe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like Robert. I don't like him as like a boyfriend, but I like him as like a cool guy. He looks like the guy, like, to be honest, of all these ones that are showing up, he looks like the one I'd be like, okay, you're the one I'm dating first. Mm. <laughs> Cause mm -hmm. you look like a werewolf. <laughs> so far none of these have been a mistake. Yeah. They've all been a good time. Yeah. But we still have four more dads. And one of the dads <laughs> is <exists>. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm here to have a bad time. It's fine. All right, looking at the character poll. Um, it is all tied except for Matt, who is in the lead with six votes. So, Beautiful. looks like we are doing Matt this time, gang. Oh boy. Do -do. Matt's 
the one I wanted, so... How exciting! Okay. I win. Ignore the Homer save file. That is from when I was, uh... I had to basically grab a PNG cutout of Bolzo, but I couldn't get a good version of it from, like, a previous Bolzo save file, so I had to go make a temporary save file and remake Bolzo in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are going to be dating Matt. See, let me reread his uh, dad book log. Matt Sella, avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the coffee spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Let me have about 80s no wave music. I was not doing the Matt voice, let me fix that. On a Friday night, you are most likely to. Perfect my cold brew setup, one trip at a time, baby. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. What are your turn on? What are your turn ons? Multi instrumentalism. Ugh, fuck. Instrumentalism. That's it. What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista, weirdly enough. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles? <laughs> <laughs> What's your ideal date? Go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. Oh, I like him now. Just, just consider it. Yeah. He's a coffee man, so he won my heart nope. already. What do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in here and over here, just in case. I spent a lot of time thinking about... Where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Do we all agree that it was a bad idea? Alright. Let's start with our first date. This guy was my first pick when we started playing. He seems like a really neat yeah, dude. Yeah, he seems super chill. Which I dig. I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> I navigate to, to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you at the BBQ. We should definitely hang out soon. You're, you're free later. <laughs> God. That one moved way slower than they normally do. A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come out? I think for a moment. What's a Sound Garden? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Right. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? Well, I'm thinking. Another message pops up on the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk pump pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. Hey, resident Canadians in the chat, is that a real band? I don't no. recognize it. I doubt it, I've never heard of them. I don't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's go out of our comfort zone. <laughs> oh shit. There was one more message left. Nope, that's a band out of Toronto. Huh. It's real. Oh, oh shit! Hmm. Fun! There you go. Yeah. Fucking. Pop punk is a musical genre I can get <laughs> behind. Yeah, same. I love it. Yep. I log off a dad book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Now, I can tell you, I haven't been to a concert in 11 years, I think. It's been a while. And I, the only thing I remember about that concert was that I was super sick at the time. And that the drummer started throwing his many drumsticks into the crowd. I'm pretty sure he hit somebody on the head. Oops. I mean, that seems likely when you do something like yeah. that. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought I, I thought it was cool. Listen, mullets are cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all the airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool at least, relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad? 
What are you doing? Look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Huh. Anyway, what's up? Huh? Amanda, how do I be cool? Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me put on a oh. let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. No, seriously. Man invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Dad. Yeah, you have. You took me to one. You took me. You, you took me to one once when I was twelve. Remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh God! I tried so hard to forget. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot, and then you cried and screamed the whole time. Huh? Dad, there's so much more than that, and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings and made those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. <laughs> Yeah? Oh, no. Well, you didn't even find the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Well, it's a, it's at a smaller place and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Hmm. Like DIY gutter punk? Thrash? Straight edge? Come on dad, give me something to work with here. I, I didn't know there were that many kinds of punk genres, I'll be real. The only type of music genre I'm familiar with at all is metal. There are many. Many. Oh boy. Big. Punk gets into everything. Are they post-punk, proto-punk, like, C-punk, Jeremy punk? The fuck is Jeremy punk? What's Jeremy punk? <laughs> <laughs> I made that one up to see if I'd get away with it. I'll be honest, I would have <laughs> believed it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I would have believed that someone thought they created a genre called Jeremy Punk. There's probably one man named Jeremy. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty punk thing to do, to be honest. Yeah, right? <laughs> they're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're Canadian punk. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Hmm. Well... You'll be surprised! <laughs> well, punk is a kind of big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is, just enjoy the music. By the way, speaking of music, if you want to hear, like, pain in music form, listen to Sludge Metal. It's horrifying. Sludge metal. Yeah, Jay introduced me to it, and it's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's... Ah. It's pretty. It's really intense. <laughs> Holy shit. That's it? Mm. I mean, yeah. It's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. <laughs> well, that's comforting. <laughs> and if a strange dude in a Set Your Goals hoodie offers you to buy merch, don't accept it, and definitely don't go on a three awful dates with him afterwards, where he takes you to the nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet. Literally three times in a row. What? Never mind. How'd you do that three times, girl? Oh. Just have a blast tonight. I show up at the coffee spoon at eight in what I hope is concert appropriate attire. I see Matt out locking locking the the door of the shop. Oh. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Let's see. Well it's been a while. Yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was born ready. I think he'd be I think he he would dig the uh, ready I was born ready. He's a very positive person. He is a very, yeah. very positive person. Yeah. He might dig you being honest as well. But... True. I am still leaning towards the ready I was born ready, though. Yeah, let's be yeah. enthusiastic. Any situation, any outcome, I can handle it. I sleep with one eye open. I am prepared to kill. Are you? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he did not like that. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He fucked up. He like yeah, he that. did not like that. I didn't think he would go that hard. Yeah, I didn't think he was gonna go that hard I either. I'll be re I'll be real. Yeah, I was. I was born ready. I'll stab somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking shank this, a bitch. This like, feels oh. like the the Bethesda thing where you're like trying to just do a peaceful RPG talk, and then it <laughs> yeah. suddenly becomes like super. Like I'm going to punch you in the face. No, it's Bioware. Yeah. That's what they do. If we fucked up too hard, we could go back and whatnot, but. Eh. Eh. Okay. 
Rule for the future. Rule for the future. We gotta be chill. Yeah. He likes chill. Okay. Uh. Oh uh, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks for cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Did your daughter make you take her take her to one of those the boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and, and scream cries? Yeah. <laughs> I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from last one. Stay strong. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me. Just hang with me, Bolzo. You'll and you'll be good. This this scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Shoot. What is scene? Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off in the middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. <laughs> That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Let's head to the show. I was waiting in a short line to get in. We finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a, and a bar at the other. Most people here are, are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My weight in youth is showing. I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. When were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me when we both grow older? Wait, is C punk actually a genre? <laughs> oh, yes, because I just googled it. <laughs> Matt, you it made is, it? it? It sure is. A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Shanty. What's that? Mm, I didn't see what the music was. Aesthetically, it's just C themed. Like outfits, it seems. Also, it came from Tumblr, apparently. A younger kid runs up and high fives mm -hmm. Matt. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high-five me. Me too. <laughs> I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Hey, same! <laughs> do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight, take a nap? That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> a couple of other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey as well. Hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. He seems really in his element I here. I will now color him as a music-loving cat. <laughs> <laughs> Matt turns his attention back to me. I love him. I am so afraid of all of these people. <laughs> oh. Me too, Matt. Oh my oh, god, Matt. me too! I can relate to this a lot. <laughs> Let's go grab a beer. Oh, we gotta be extra chill. He's nervous. Yeah. He's afraid oh. of people! Oh. Me too, Matt. Bitch, me too. Matt. Also... <laughs> I gotta get out there. His smile's really cute. Yeah, it cute. is very nice. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back, where a couple of older concert goers hang out, and a couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Hey, uh, He's like, you're a popular guy out here. Oh, hey. uh, yeah. I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. Huh. But but, in but it's times like these where I realize that I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Same. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. And then there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? <laughs> See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This... He is scene. so honest. Yeah. Seems really friendly. I love him. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Whoa, who's this guy? I have definitely seen this guy at, like, a fucking convention before. Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room, where a crusty-looking teenager guards the selection of shirts and rec- That's a teenager? Oh. <laughs> what? Apparently. Uh, sure. Press F to doubt. <laughs> Where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and pops and hops up on his chair. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and accoutrements a discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want. You! I gesture to myself, my face flushing, flushing red. Yes, you! You look like a fella who knows their music. I was about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record. Maybe just maybe made and distributed by Pup by Pup. Canada's premier punk rock, out, punk, punk rock outfit. All this lingo is too much for me. <laughs> uh, our options are, uh, 
totally ho, good sir. I mean, tally ho, good sir. Or please stop yelling at me. <laughs> After last fuck up. Last one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Um, fucking after last fuck up though, I'm saving because <laughs> we don't want to fuck up yeah. too bad. I I I like even if it's like not me, it's like please stop yelling at yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> That's just really funny. I like that please one. Stop yelling at me. We have to embrace our inner cat. Yeah. Alright, please stop yelling at me. I'm already kind of on edge because it's an unfamiliar place and I don't know anybody here and I would appreciate it if you could stop singling me out and I'm sure you're cool, but it's making me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> the kid immediately- Is the tally-ho option him mistaking Canada for Britain? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm afraid he'll go yeah, too hard that. like he did last yeah. time. <laughs> the kid immediately hops down off the chair. You got it. Sorry about that. I just get really excited about salesmanship. Aww. I am at like that. I can't relate, but I appreciate your enthusiasm nonetheless. I love it. Hey, Pablo. Your friend looked lo your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him an old razzle dazzle. How's the how the hell are you, Matt? Yeah, it's all free. Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high five, but also turn it into a hug. Ah, oh, that's rad. Oh. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I could take that. Co I could take. I can make that connect. <laughs> I have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? That's Bolzo. I thought I'd bring out a concert, pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Bolzo cool? Matt eyes me. I eye him back. He cracks a smile. <laughs> yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. Hell yeah. My dude! <laughs> I'm not sure what to say, but give the cur but, but give the courtesy two pats on the back, as if customary in our society for people you don't know super well, but still want to be friendly to. Pablo's a total card. Kids play kid 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 plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man. When we're when are we starting starting our witch house band? You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know the. How the fuck do I say that? <laughs> cross cross. Vacant Vale Cross Cross would have slayed. Listen, if you put if you replace A's with triangles, I'm gonna get confused. <laughs> v Delta C Delta N T V. It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing out a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. Oh man, Pablo talk. I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's go. Let's well, let's get a spot up close. Uh -huh. And I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and pick and pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead the lead singer 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 addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hmm. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speak C Choir. Oh, Speak Easy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Hmm. Oh no, these guys. What? By the time they respond, the band starts playing the most ca cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks! I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. Guess that's what really matters. There are screams <laughs> of terror in the background music right now. No. <laughs> they sure just called a real band bad oh, in their boy. game. Oh boy. Oops. It's fine. Probably. I think this is the opening act and not the other band. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Jesus, did that Celis just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set, the set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically to burn poetry on stage. What an asshole! I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? <laughs> ask again or drop it? <laughs> I'm gonna ask mm. again. <laughs> Listen, like... I'd I, I drop it. I don't know. True. What did you already think? Hmm. I'm leaning towards ask again because in literally every concert situation I've ever been in, it's always that shit of like... What? 
I said. Yeah. You sure can't hear each other, and no one expects to be able to, so you just keep trying. Okay. What does the rest of the council think? Pretty neutral on both options, honestly. Yeah. So the majority. Yeah. If anything, the majority seems to ask again. Right, ask again. See how that goes. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? <laughs> ask again or drop it. <laughs> We've already started. We can't stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Are we just going for broke? So you? Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My turns back his attention <laughs> to the show. He can't hear me, so I stop and try to enjoy the music. <laughs> okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing this same song? Ten minutes? Twenty? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends. But only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone, his saxophone solo. Wait, why is the drummer you doing a saxophone solo? <laughs> <laughs> they promised it was a part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. I was imagining, like, the drummer fucking dual-wielding a drum set and a saxophone at the same time. Just bashing on the fucking <laughs> things with the sax. That's why he broke his ankle. <clears throat> Man and I both pull our earplugs out. Oh. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. Hey. Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. Let's grab another beer. Questions now. <laughs> that didn't answer anything yeah. for me. Man and I walk. Man and I work our way out of the crowd to the back and and back to the bar. More and more people file into the co in the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and try to follow Matt back to our spot. There's there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the the, the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop to look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip twenty somethings. I'm lost. How do I ever get- how, do, how am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I gonna see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if- <laughs> Suddenly a hand reaches out and gra to grab me. It's Matt! Hey. Almost lost you, buddy. Phew. Got really nervous for a second there. Hey. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah. Pup, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one of the one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. I never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house. But Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had she had an, she had she had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom finally. But it's one of those single person restrooms which with a line forming outside of it. Ah damn. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays the first song. However, how am I ever going to find Matt now? Mini game. Is it a mini game? Oh What's fuck! It's a mini game. Probably. Everyone's rushing to the main. Uh, everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will will be up there too. I gotta get the, get there without being trampled by all these rowdy youths. How do I move in this? Avoid those youths. Go. How do I move? Oh. It's like Frogger, shit. Fuck, ow, <laughs> goddamn. How do I control what direction I even hop at? Oh, they fucking... <laughs> so, there's supposed to be copyright music playing here? But yeah. since I turned off the copyright thing, there's a song instead singing about how I turned off the copyright music. <laughs> That's fantastic. 
I wonder if it was a song by the band itself. Maybe. This is a really long floor. Yeah. yeah, there's t the song basically saying, please check out the band called Pup. They're real cool. Aww. I like how your avatar in the game is kind of sort of tailored to your dad customization. Yeah, this is really hard, actually. I'll be real. As far as it's kind of runs yeah, into you. A lot. These guys are just being bastards. Oh, hard. God damn it. Oh no. These youths. Are you just supposed to survive? I don't know. Like, this is really fucking hard, though. Being jostled by youths. Oh shit. God damn it. This is getting increasingly harder. Run, Bulzo, you fucker! Go! <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you gotta be almost there. Come on. Go, go! It's slowing down. I survived the crowd! That Yay. was really fucking hard. I don't think I got a good rating. Oh, apparently I got S, okay. That, right, what? You live? that was so fucking hard, actually. Like, that was really weird controlling, because you have to click. I could I was I was like, oh, is this like this seems like something you'd use WAST for. No, you have to click the entire fucking thing. Oh. I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt's, Matt Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot, well, I guess I have to keep on look. I bump in, I'm bumped from into into from behind. I find myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle to the music. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? <laughs> out of nowhere, a youth shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving in the circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths ryth rhythmically slamming into each other. Another youth slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Camp under the boots of a, of a counterculture. Someone grabs my hand. <laughs> Someone familiar. I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back onto my feet. You're wild, dude. Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, bashing into youths left and right as Puff plays a killer solo. I'm sure it is killer. If it wasn't this guy who isn't Pup. He's, the guy is currently literally just singing gibber. He's going, <laughs> I don't know you mess with the pit. Me neither. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stress before physical activity, but I'm having fun. The song ends at the, at the pit. At the song ends and the, and the pit finally dissipates. Everybody cheers on pup. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> Alright, man. Let's retreat. Let's show these kids how it's done another day. We work, we work our way, way back to a more comfortable spot in the, in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pup put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey, I'll meet you outside. Gotta say bye to a couple people. But yeah, no, fucking big thanks to this game for having something for me to turn off things that can get, have, get us content ID'd. Because, yeah. let me tell you, we already play that line enough with JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> We've already gotten God a few times for JoJo. <laughs> Oops. I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Matt hands me the t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Whoa, thanks man. Hey. Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. And I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard in their first time back at a concert deserves a reward. These will finally send me. Amanda will love this. I'm never taking this off. I'm gonna save this time, but I think he'll dig, like, I'm never taking this off. I think the enthusiasm is what we need this time. It's a gift. We should be happy about it. I just hope he yeah. doesn't go too hard. That's, that's why I saved this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm never taking this off. I will continually wear it until it is tattered and a little smelly so that I can truly embody punk fashion. Hey, Matt. Hey, it's Pup. Oh shit, it's Pup. <laughs> it's the Pup. Hey, dude. Didn't realize you were you were here. Hey. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. 
Oh shit, these guys are talking all in unison at the same time like some fucking codename kids next door <laughs> shit. Oh dear. Well, see you around. Wait, you know Pup? Hey, yeah. Oh yeah, met him a couple of times back when they first started, started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Hey. Come on, let's grab dinner. Let's grab some dinner, some diner food, whatever. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I suddenly realized how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. Oh shit, it's a diner. Matt and I walk into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. So there I am in the pit trying to explain the, to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering toward, toward me and, there was, and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? And out of nowhere I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms and, I just, and just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> Bought him a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you, glad you guys worked it out. Right. Yeah, man. Just goes to show you that punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. So, how'd you get to see all these amazing concerts? Right. Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we were poor and had to scrape, scrape a lot together just to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Hey, but yeah. That's how I knew a bunch of those people and at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. There's a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Hey. Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. Every dad in this town except Joseph is a single parent. I gotta fucking drink some water real quick, sorry. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. How's Carmen Sita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. Oh. It'll be loud and I'll need to take, out a lot, take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. I'm trying to be supportive of Carmen Cedar's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be, be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Hey. Like what? Fashion, consumerism, big budget for remakes of foreign films. I don't think he did consumerism. Probably not. Yeah, no. I think he did fashion. <clears throat> I think he did the foreign films. Yeah, because he, he likes shit with that subtitles. That is true. He does like shit with subtitles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's probably not the foreign biggest films. fan of re big budget remakes of them. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He likes it authentic. Yeah. Fucking saving shit because I don't want to fuck up again. <laughs> <laughs> Balsa was weird one time. We don't need him to be weird yeah, again. Yeah, I'm just a little weird nervous. I'm just a little nervous because the first time we tried to be happy, enthusiastic, he went straight to murder. So. <laughs> yeah. Balsa. What a. So what's what's the council think? I'm Fashion. Very... I'm for big okay. budget remakes because it aligns with his interests. Yeah. Question mark. Seems like the majority are leaning towards like, three. Like either it does or it doesn't, and I don't know which it's gonna be. Yeah, that's the scariest part. We could always ask Twitch chat this once. Hey, chat. So chat, what do you think? Chat. Chat. Three. Three. Another three. Don't ask me, dude. Don't ask three. me. <laughs> That's very fair. Sounds like the majority are doing three, so why not? Big budget remakes of foreign films. 
Reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. He and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is, is absolutely hitting the spot. Man, being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest. At least, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. And I gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too. I never really considered myself an extrovert, never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. Uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night, night trading, um, trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. So that was a blast, man. Loved it. Although, I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. Ha. <laughs> you and me both. I, uh... Maybe we should, like, go into these things alone. I was really cool to, it was really cool to have you there, there with me. I'm glad. Hey. Alright. I'm calling it quits for tonight. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool! No oh, boy! <laughs> Locked into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops, pops her head out of from her room. Hmm. Hey, Pops. How was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool! Mm -hmm. You don't say. Mm -hmm. Manda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool! <laughs> blind, blind leading the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked <laughs> on by my own child. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oops. Hey, Amanda. Not for the first time and certainly not the last. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Remind me which one of us is t just tore it up in the in the pit at a punk show, and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. <laughs> Second of all, you moshed in the pit. Who even are you? I'm your extremely cool dad. All right, I'm hitting the hay, pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. <laughs> I think we didn't- I, I really hope that first fuck up didn't affect the score too bad. Hopefully not. We got a B. That's the lowest we've ever gone. At least we didn't get a failing grade. <laughs> Welcome. You've got dads. We got dads. Oh shit, we got a message from Craig. <coughs> Ah, oh, God! What? Hey, buddy, so I have a favor to ask. Robert invited me over for dinner, and I know it's kind of a foul pod to invite another bro, but I've known the guy for years, and I still can't get a good read on him, and I know it's it's going to be super awkward if I go by myself, so will you please come with me? Egg emoji, egg emoji, egg emoji, sweat, uh, sweating downward face. I love food! I especially love food that's free, and I don't know why you're, you're so sweaty over cooking, but sure. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you. I really hope that's a sweat of relief. Eat that dinner. I didn't think... You sure those were eggs? Yeah, they were eggs I in a the pan. I think they were magnify. Oh, yeah, were they? Yeah, eggs in a pan. I believe you. You're looking at a bigger screen than I am. That doesn't sound too bad, but I could, and I could definitely go for free food. Why is he? Why? But why is Craig being so apprehensive? Does he know something about Robert that I don't? I mean, I mean, we we fucking did did Robert's route, and I still don't know shit about him. <laughs> He's a dude that loves to tell stories. Yeah, I hurry up and reply before my dad brain can work itself into a paranoia spiral. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Craig and I decided to meet up before 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 heading over to Robert's place. Craig's waiting on my porch, bottle of white white wine in hand. Bolzo, boy, my boy, am I glad to see you. Likewise, man. Glad to have you to bring wine. Oh. oh, it's not wine. It's sparkling apple cider. Robert literally has a wine cellar, so I think he's good. Wow. Or at least I think he has a wine cellar. I'm genuinely unsure if he was telling the truth or not. I can never tell with him. Hmm. Thank God it's not just me. I never know. Hmm. He's so deadpan about everything. I usually just laugh it off, but man, that guy's an enigma. We start walking over to Robert's house. 
Does Robert even know how to cook? I have sincere doubts about whether he even knows how to shave properly. Or iron his shirts. I feel like you learned to cook after you learned those two first. I mean, I learned to cook before I learned how to sh how to fucking shave or iron shirts. Hey. Oh boy, Piv Zero is now playing Final Fantasy XIV online. Wonder where that guy's Hell at. Yeah. <laughs> Mother of fucking god! <laughs> One time I saw him grab a hot dog from a trash can. I mean, it was at the very top of the trash can, like, sitting above it. But still, if he were on trial, I think the jury would define him, find that as, in the trash. <laughs> in his defense, I've definitely considered grabbing food off the top of the trash floor. Uh, uh, no. Uh. Well, yeah, I think we've all considered it. No! <laughs> the difference is that... Don't you love just covering your food in trash and no. eating it? No! I'm not even. Uh, why not? I don't even apply. What's, the problem? Fucking what's wrong with you, Jamie? I don't even imply to the five second roll. Like just the moment that shit hits the ground, I'm grossed out. I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I think we've all considered it, but the difference is that Robert actually did it. <laughs> True. Maybe he's the enlightened <laughs> one. I'm so sad I wasn't here for Robert. Yeah. <laughs> he's my fucking. <laughs> True. Maybe he's the enlightened one. Maybe we're holding ourselves back. <laughs> You can always set up the VODs. Yeah, we do have Nico, the VODs. we can just do it ourselves. Yeah. Yes! There are the VODs, and <laughs> they're going to be that? uploaded to YouTube soon, so be entertained by that. <laughs> Woo! I would also, just for the the people who made this game's sake, you can also go out and buy it and play it yourself. Yeah! <laughs> I own it! Yeah. yeah, I sure do own it. It's good. Go for There's it. There's a free update for it, which adds new content. <gasps> yeah. Mm, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think that would be the reaction, but okay. <laughs> we arrive at Robert's house and ring the doorbell, but the doorbell won't chime. Hmm, must be broken. Craig knocks on the door a few times. So when does Robert have a dog? I mean, this is the third time this has come up, you I'll be real. always had a dog. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. I can hear Robert just inside. It's a shame that like the one ra the one r the one mission where we we can actually confirm that it is Robert's dog is the final date in his route, so we can't actually confirm it in other routes. Yeah. One second. This is uncharted territory, Bulzo. What if he's the one making barking noises and there is no dog? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. We're not even inside yet. <laughs> Finally, a door opens. Robert looks a little surprised to see me. Bulzo. Then you're gonna be tagging along. Did Craig not tell Robert I was coming? <laughs> Come on, Craig. I, I can leave if there's not. No, it's fine. Come on in. No, no, the water is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Take a dip, Bulzo. There's no sharks in there, I swear. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We enter Robert's living room, which is surprisingly really nice. Super messy, but still nice. Make yourselves at home. Cacti. We can still hear barking. Yeah, he has a cool yeah, he has a pretty cool bag. He also has two boomerangs above his TV. Just saying. Because of course he does. Oh, what? yeah, he does. What the fuck? <laughs> we can still hear barking from the other room. I didn't know you had a dog, Robert. Oh yeah, that's Betsy. Have to put her up. Have to, have to put her up whenever guests are over. She'll calm down in a bit. What kind of dog is she? P fucking Bulzo. We already had the route where he lied about what breed she was. You should at least know what he lied about. <laughs> Pitbull rescued her from a dog fighting ring a few years back. She hates strangers. If I let her out right now, I would probably have to take you both to the ER. Her and I make eye contact. He raises he raises an eyebrow at me. Oh okay. Anyways, dinner should be ready in a minute. Hope you guys like Osco Bo Oso Buko. Robert leaves the room, presumably going to the kitchen. Craig leans in and whispers, hmm. Was the dogfighting thing real, or was he kidding? I don't know. Hey. What's what's Oso Buko? I don't know. Hmm. Did, he make that, did he make up that word? Until I have Oso Buko in front of me. We can only assume so. We sit in silence for a second, ta taking in Robert's living room. Are we about to get sawed? Nah. Usually you wake up in those situations. We voluntarily walked into this one. Nice. Robert finally walks into the room, carrying three paper plates of steaming food like a waiter. I don't have a dining table. Don't trust them. So we're eating here. 
Don't try that. I mean, I, I love this freaking raccoon of a man. <laughs> also, I don't have real people plates. Hope that's okay. Robert sets plates in front of us on the coffee table. I still can't tell what it is. Looks like meat, maybe. Lots of sauce. I can make out some vegetables. I think that might be rice, but it could also be pasta. Guess there's only one way to find out. I take a bite. Oh my god. I take another bite. The medley of, the, the medley of flavors in this dish is amazing. The meat is so tender, and, and the risotto, I think that's what that is, is so creamy. Mm. Robert, this is really incredible. You cooked this? Mm -hmm. I fish it out of a dumpster behind a restaurant. I used to think it was a restaurant. Mm. Can you believe people just throw the stuff away? I almost gag. Yeah, I would fucking be pissed if somebody fed me that. Mm. Oh. I'm kidding. I'll go over to Craig, who looks wary but still has a mouthful. He gives Robert a thumbs up, and, he, and, and here comes the, or am I? Oh, he didn't, or am I? Okay. Yeah. Glad you like it. Hmm. Where'd you learn how to cook like this? Worked at a restaurant in Spain for a hot sec. Is he messing with us? I decided to play along. You lived in Spain? After I dropped out of college, I went, went backpacking through Europe, crashing on couches, sleeping in, ho in, sleeping in hostels, wherever, totally... I think that's supposed to say ho hotel, I don't fucking know, hostels, all whatever. Wherever, totally broke. No, hostel is right. Okay. Worked a couple of odd jobs wherever I, worked a, worked a couple of odd jobs wherever I could scrape wherever I could scrape scrape together some cash. One night I'm eating I'm eating dinner at this little restaurant just outside of Madrid, and <clears throat> I go to pay I go to pay and I realize that the last of my money on boo I spent the last of my money on booze the night before. I'm in the middle of a I'm in the middle of ditching when the manager catches me and puts me to work in the kitchen. Long story short, long story short, they ended up liking me so much they offered me a job. Why not, right? Started living with some distant relatives on my ma's on my ma's side. Oh. Over the course of two years, I worked my way up to from bu from busboy to sous chef. Learned a lot. Craig two years is not a hot minute. Yeah. Craig and I wait for a punch to punch line. One night, watchman did he swindle to get it back back to the states? Who did he con in a game of poker to get back room of, room of speakeasy for safe passage and in, in the crew quarters for a, of a cargo ship? Hey. Anyway, I still love to cook. I can respect that, Robert. I too love the cook. I don't know what's real anymore, but this food's so good, I kind of don't care. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it really is, to be honest. I wasn't expecting gourmet cooking from here. Especially not served on paper plates. I don't care about presentation. If the food is good, it should speak for itself. This also buko is screaming for itself. Mm. And paper plates are just as good as regular plates if you, do if you double them up. Oh. Hmm. Hey, is it bad if I ask for seconds? Mm -hmm. Help yourself, but save room for dessert. I made a lemon berry sev severin. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Well, aren't you... I don't know what that is, but it sounds great. It is. Well, aren't you just full of... Craig was over at me. Hey. Surprises. <laughs> Robert winks. You bet I am. I can guarantee you, Robert invited Craig over here to bang. Like, I'm just saying... That's why Robert invited him alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. You can come over for dinner anytime. I... Craig. Craig. Fucking love Robert. Let's give him a sec. Um, I'm gonna go get seconds. Me too! After consuming way more Asa Buko than my body could handle, then then really ins insure, ensuring a later food coma with a generous serving of whatever Severin it was, Craig and I decided to head out. Oh. Thanks for coming. Um, making an attempt to be more social. Well, we're always happy to stop by if you want company. Actually, there's Asa Buko involved. Welcome. You've got that. Nice. All right, let's go on the next day with Matt. Yay! I can't, because it's one after you said like he just invited Craig over to bang. It's like Craig is sure just showed up in sweatpants, and I'm like, well, he did just say he doesn't care about presentation as long as it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of messaging the guy, why don't I just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today, anyway. Amanda. I want coffee. Amanda sticks her head out of her room. Father. Wanna go to the coffee spoon? Oh, so you get called cool once, and now you're gonna now you're the cool dad who hangs out at coffee shops and listens to neo jazz and stuff. Guys, what the fuck is neo jazz? I don't know. 
Newer jazz, probably. Oh. I'll be real. I don't know the lingos. I have heard of it. I have no clue what it is other than it sounds nice. <laughs> Wait, was it spelled N E O or N E O? N E O. And you know, the, yeah, it's probably just like that usually means like a newer version of it. It's like new age. Yeah. Uh, probably current. has like synths and stuff. Ah, uh, I haven't. I've never heard that before. Amanda, are you gonna bring your laptop and your leather-bound journal so you can work on your poetry anthology? Yes. Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? Huh. Oh. Let me grab my laptop and my leather-bound journal. <laughs> It's actually been a really long time since I've had coffee. I like coffee. It's nice. I fucking love I drink it black. Man and I make, make the short walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. There's a few people hanging out and reading books in the cozy little nooks. I look up to the counter and see a familiar pierced face. You know, like, his face doesn't actually have that many pier piercings. Like... I don't see any piercings on his face. Yeah. Like, it might be covered up by his fucking hair, I guess. Maybe? Like, he has that weird ear one that, like, stretches it. I don't remember what those yeah, are called. They're probably just called gauge. stretchers. Yeah, it's a gauge. Okay, okay that's... Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't look like he has face tattoos. Hey, you were doing a yell at a bunch the other night. Amanda casts a sideways glance at me. You tried to sell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? This is my daughter, Amanda. The person I am father to and am very protective of. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> now to make your acquaintance, my name's Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? Hmm. I wouldn't call it witch house music, but okay. Ugh. <laughs> Man does not amused. Don't be mean. A piercing blow to my ego, though. Not one that I will dissuade my need to impress you. My innate death. I mean, this is the guy that ditched her three times, isn't it? No, we moved to this town fairly recently. Oh, okay. My innate dad senses tingle. I'm overwhelmed with fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child! <laughs> <laughs> Change the subject, defend witch house, or reappropriate lines from Taken. <laughs> now, <laughs> as much as I dig that last one, last time we went all murdery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt God. wasn't too thrilled. Wait, are we on a date with the guy? Is the real question. We're technically on the date with the guy. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so. Mm. Mm. Say. Yeah, I'm going to save just because I don't want to fuck up super hard again. <laughs> Hope Chat's okay with us um, cheesing it like assholes. I am okay with it. I'm fine with it. I'm yeah. kind of honestly weirdly leaning towards defend witch house. <laughs> like I I almost feel bad that he was basically a shot that like witch house. I didn't even know he existed. <laughs> like I'm kind of feeling that one honestly. Witch house sounds like it'll be funny, but I think we should change the subject. Yeah, changing subject would probably be what the the other guy would do. I'm not quite See, we sure can... if that's what we're we can be mild and change the subject, or we can be spicy and defend Witch House. <laughs> see, that's the thing. What would a cat want? You see, I know. <laughs> what would a cat want? Seeing as I know Matt like really <laughs> digs like, like fucking various forms of music genres, and I think he'd be down with like if he was listening again. I think he'd be down for us like just like defending his like musical tastes. But it's also, that's if fair. you do that, you're going against your daughter. And he seems like one of those people who's like, I love your daughter first. Mm, true. <laughs> but we've gotten real sassy oh. with Amanda before, and I'm not afraid to get sassy Does again. Does he know that? Hmm. This is a hard, hard choice. Well, that's not that does right like now. Pablo. Yeah. Let's put it up to a vote. Uh, one for uh, change the subject, two for defend witch house. Cast your votes now. <laughs> yeah. This is a hard one. Eggwater in chat says, please defend Witch House. No one else will. <laughs> Eggwater, I'll do it for you. Right. That is a fair choice. <laughs> we 
I respect that choice. Yeah. Mm. Hey, which house? <laughs> There's a lot of twos in chat anyway, yeah. so. Hey, which house is actually a nuanced form of music that many people enjoy, and I think our dear Pablo here should be proud of to, proud to be making, or technically making, since he only has done the logo so far. Yeah. Also, I've never listened to Witch House before. Bolzo. <laughs> that comes out from from washing dishes. Oh shit! It's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's coming in fast. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I did not hear that motorcycle until it basically revved up. <laughs> by my Matt comes up from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high fives fellow cool people do. Was it a motorcycle or was it Matt swooshing in? <laughs> if, if it was Matt, he has impeccable time. <laughs> I see you've met my newest employee. At your service, although I'm only here until God damn it. Cross cross vacant veil cross cross starts their world tour. When's that? Well, we have to put out a record first. Hey. Alright, Pablo. Now what do we do with that with customers again? Right, yes. By the way, I really dig the thing that's playing right now. It's like really nice. Pablo clears his throat. Hello, good folks of Maple Bay. Can I introduce you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? A smashing pumpkin spice latte, please. A classic, and you? American football, uh, decaf for cutie, or Father John Misto? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> hey, music knowers in the Council of Dads, which one of these is a music reference? <laughs> uh, decaf for cutie. Uh, decaf, um, uh... That would be punk. Yeah. Matt does like punk. Cause that's death cap for cutie. Yeah. All right, I'll go with that one then. A decaf for cutie, please. Don't want too much caffeine. Decaf sounds like you're settling. I have a very early bedtime that I just can't miss. Hey. Oh, uh, <laughs> the sound of settling in the in a is a death cap for cutie song, which was the band, which was band, band, was which, which, which was the band this this was a pun of, a uh, bun pun off of. So when I said it was sounded like you were settling, I, I'm gonna stop talking now. Aww. <laughs> Coming right up. Mood. <laughs> Pablo gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. Yeah, He'll get the hang of it. For as for as goofy of a dude he is, kid works hard. Hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hey. Hell yes. I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple of hours and was going to go record record shopping. Want to come along? Absolutely. Hey. Pablo brings us our drinks and Amanda buries herself in her laptop. I spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Last time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble hanging out with other people, but for some reason, he and I can talk and joke like old buds. It's weird. I, I feel really comfortable around him. Oh shit, another- oh man, this thing's really good too. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking walking to the record store. Hey. You ever been here before? No, I mean, we have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have are two copies of Frampton Comes Alive. Hey. Huh. <laughs> oh, this should be fun then. We're gonna we're gonna find you some good stuff. Oh. That sounds expensive. Yeah. Yacht Club Miracle. I appreciate the I'm hoping reference to Shovel Knight's developers. Well, probably. There's a one for there's one for Dover Ghost in the background. Fake Beard's arm race, sad swears. Uh Steady Bean. <laughs> steady Bean. I really like Steady Bean. Let's see. Dinner food. Yeah. Dinner food. Yeah, it's just dinner food. The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people mill around, flipping through milk crates of albums. Some indie bands are pl is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why people still buy records? Isn't it kind of out outdated at this point? A lot of people who will try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent, but really I think it's just nice to collect records. I can respect that. Hey, fun fact about vinyl is they actually have hyper good sound quality. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is actually a little bit of an embarrassing fun J-Man fact, but I actually want to get into collecting film. So, fucking... Ooh. Reeled the film? Yeah, or reeled like... film. Huh, cool. That sounds yeah. 
I just haven't gotten into it yet, but I hope to one day. It's cool that it's cool that in this day of age we have about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones, but there's something about holding an album and getting to see that see the artwork in your hands that I hope that I always love. So I try to get as many of the records that I love as in physical forms as possible. Remember when we were kids and we would have to wait around by the radio with a cassette tape so that we could record our favorite songs? I still did that when I was a kid, and I wasn't even around in that era. Because I lived in a fucking time pocket, apparently. <laughs> made each listen really made, made each listen really special, and mixtapes tapes were even cooler because of how much they work they took. Now, you just make now, now you just make a playlist, and I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. Hey. Look around the multi-level record store and spot some genres: Future Wave, Jungle, and Anarchapunk, Nun Exploitation. I have no idea where to even start. <laughs> I was about to say, I think I actually know that one. <laughs> like, like I, I looked at that and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> one second. It's like black exploitation, but for nuns. Yeah, it's. Uh... Man, this is a little overwhelming. Hey. Here, let me help you find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Cooking and cream, vanilla, strawberry, or purple? I think... <laughs> so... <laughs> I... Out of these flavors, I personally like uh, cookies and cream the most, but... It's not a good milkshake, because then you got chunks. I like cookies and cream. Like, I love cookies and cream, that's my favorite ice cream. But it's not a good milkshake, because it gets stuck in the straw. Yeah... Um... But that's, that's not fair. the point of this game. Yeah. <laughs> what can, like, let's, let's, let's go from this from a Bolzo perspective. What kind of milkshake would Bolzo be? I think he'd be... I, I think yeah, strawberry. I think he'd be strawberry. Yeah, I think he'd personally be strawberry. Yeah. Or purple. Yeah. <laughs> or purple. Yeah. Be, he would be strawberry or purple. I went with strawberry. If you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Daffodil Mountain Spring, Camouflage Summer Breeze, Spring Spring Creek Fireball, or Power Violence Cherry Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> I want to smell the last one. <laughs> now that one sounds fucking rad. Like I fucking love candles. If that one actually existed, I'd buy the shit yeah, out no, of it. Right? I would get Power Violence Cherry Blossom out of sheer curiosity. Yeah. Power yeah. Violence yeah. Cherry Blossom sounds like a nail polish color. Yeah. It dies. Yeah. Fun fact. What would that even smell like? Uh, fun fact. I did not get this candle. Like power but one time I went to a, a a shop that sold exclusively candles, and they had a fucking absinthe scented candle. Oh. I did not pick oh. it up, but I was like, mm. <laughs> why? <laughs> What's happening here? All right. Uh. Hmm. Actually, what the fuck is camouflage summer breeze? <laughs> I'm imagining linen. Probably, yeah. I, I, but there's I none of those are sense. <laughs> like Spring Creek <laughs> Fireball honestly contradicts stunted. its own existence. <laughs> it sure does. I'm it's actually being stunted spring. by Power Violence Cherry Blossom. Yeah. Like I can't think of anything else now. Like, I don't think any of us can get past Power Violence Cherry Blossom. I'm so trapped by Power Violence Cherry Blossom. I like that one a lot. I think that's really what, what Bolzor would go for as well. Just given his past history. <laughs> I guess I'll go with Power Violence Cherry Blossom then. <laughs> What's your favorite ambient sound? Rain? Bowling alley, Star Trek bridge ambience, Howls of the Bone Chorus. Now, let me take, tell you, I actually really do dig Star Trek bridge ambience, but that's just because I'm a fucking loser and I love Star Trek. I think... I actually just really like the rain. Yeah, rain's really it's... nice. It's a good ambient sound, because no matter what, you can change yeah. it to fit your mood. Yeah. Hmm... What would Bolzo like listening to, though? Bowling alley. Bowling alley. <laughs> hardcore bowling dad. Alley. <laughs> yeah, bowling <Yeah>. alley. <laughs> Class resigns. 
<laughs> you are bowling out. I don't like bowling out. Yeah, me neither. I think bowling me is neither. fun it's and fine. all, but I just can't stand the noise. What's your dream, Vicky? I don't like the smell. That is super fair. Yeah! There's a lot of things to not like about it. As well as, like, almost every single food item I got from there made me super ill. Yeah. Why were you eating there to start with? But, like, hey, nachos. Like, how do you get nachos wrong? That's true. Cheese whiz. But, yeah. yeah. No, you're right. What's your... Well, I mean, they're not gonna hand you a can of cheese whiz. <laughs> But it's gonna be the equivalent, and it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be awful. What's your dream vacation spot? My backyard. Not Vegas. Inside an active volcano. Oh, Kenzie. <laughs> I love Vegas so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Living off the fat of the land in Ibiza, or starting a new life in the Baltics. Ooh, don't go Hang to the on. Baltics for that. Hang on. Inside an active volcano. <laughs> inside, yeah. Inside an active volcano. Yeah, don't do that one. <laughs> hmm. I honestly, Bolzo... hate volcanoes. <laughs> honestly, Bolzo would probably dig his backyard. I mean, I dig my backyard. I don't have a it backyard. It looks like he but... had a nice one. He does have a very I mean, nice backyard. Out your backyard is pretty chill. Yeah. I don't think he wants Ooh. to go anywhere. Yeah. It's like the third one is the Mediterranean, though. Yeah, but like knowing Bolzo, he would just go, "Why do I need to go places? I can just be in my backyard alone. People don't bother me in my backyard. <laughs> it's my backyard. <laughs> my backyard is a safe place. <laughs> I, don't I think Matt would respect that. I can just do that in the backyard. I think Matt would respect that. Yeah. What's your deepest, darkest fear? Oh boy. Oh shit. I uh, worry that people are nice to me only because they want something from me. Huh? <laughs> I fear that I fear that I only deserve happiness. Uh, that I don't deserve happiness. Won't ever get it. <laughs> what if I, what if nobody exists but me and I'm fabricated and I'm fabricated this universe, saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy your food. <laughs> <laughs> last one. Last yeah, one. Yeah, that is a hundred percent the bulls over here. <laughs> Bolzo's <laughs> mind is not broad enough to fear the other three things. <laughs> but that last one. <laughs> oh boy. Matt thinks for a moment. Hmm. Oh, I know just the thing. Matt runs to the other end of the store and returns holding a record behind his back. He shows it to me. Please, Matt. What information did you gain from Power Violence <laughs> Cherry Blossom? <laughs> this is Dark Knight of the Soul by Danger Moose. Or Mouse, I guess. This one almost didn't get released, but there are but a ton of awesome collabs on it. Super underrated album. I think you'll really enjoy it. Whoa, dude. Thanks for the recommendation. Ooh, the music just changed. Ooh. Oh. From the reaction in chat, I'm guessing Danger Mouse is a real band. Hmm. Yeah. Sure is. <laughs> You're gonna have a great time with it, promise. Matt and I bring our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum of a septum ring and a buzz cut stands up behind the counter with one earbud in it. Usual stuff today, Matt? Oh jeez, just some light pickups. Matt, Matt places three albums on the counter. Swear I'm good at this by Diet Sig, Forever Forever by Mystery Skulls, and Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. <laughs> Tight. Cashier rings Matt up and hands back his albums in a bag. She stares at me, at me suspiciously. This is a nerd. Hey. That nerd's my buddy Bolzo. Wow. Bolzo, this beacon of human charm is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. Anyway, Matt, is the open mic night still on? You know it. Are the third wave still going to do special acoustic performance? I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. There's an open mic night going on? Yeah, dude. We do it every month. At the Coffee Spoon. The amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer, got a flyer for it right here. You and Amanda should come by. After Jay, man, drink some water. Ugh. Matt blushes. I mean, if you're not doing anything. Will cross cross vacant veil cross cross be playing? Hey. If only. I finish pay paying for my record and we head out of the store. Man, what a trip down memory lane. Haven't been in a record shop like that since Vans had had shag carpeting. 
Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to, t to think of all those weird little musical Im um, memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music's a very time and place sort of thing. That song's important to me not only in that I think it sounds good, but where where I was when I when I, and what I was doing when I listened to it. There was there's music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor that I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. All that stuff and listening to to those songs reminds me of those moments of my life. Yeah, now that I think about it, even the pop concert Amanda make made me take her to is special to me. I mean. Not really a fan of the band, but hearing their songs on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. Hey. And that even reminds me of a younger me, going to see my favorite bands in a concert with all my friends. We'd always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house before beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like that was so like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? Matt stops thinking for a moment. It's been decades. Dude. Me too. Are we gonna? <laughs> oh man, I really hope that we get, get the smoke hot, weed because literally hot. every si the last time we talked about pot, it was hilarious. <laughs> Where do we even get pot now? Is that even a thing the kids call it these days? Mm. You mean the Mary Jane, the Devil's Cabbage, the Sticky Icky? <laughs> help me. I don't know, but. I bet you could find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? <laughs> <laughs> our options oh, are, geez. yeah, why not, or say no to drugs. Now. Hell yeah! yeah. You're fucking Fucking high. do it. 420, what you smoking? <laughs> Gonna smoke that sweet Ishtar's burning cabbage. <laughs> I tried making up one on the spot. That was the best I had. Matt pulls out his phone and starts texting. After a few minutes, he looks up and smiles at me. Ah, uh, Molly's got a hookup. Says to meet us in an alley near the coffee shop. Molly has a hookup. <laughs> For real. I wonder who's going to- Oh boy, this is a reference. Okay, if it turns out it's the feds, you make a break for it and I'll take the heat. Just promise me that you'll raise Amanda like she was your own. <laughs> yeah, that was from the like, fucking. There was a previous pot joke with Robert where we talked about the feds. <laughs> you realize that weed has been legalized in the state, yeah? Hell yeah. I definitely knew that. But we live in dangerous times. Who knows what lurks in these seedy underbellies of Maple Bay? We could go find ourselves in the wrong end of a deal gone bad. Just look out for Amanda. I swear. Oh, here's our guy. Coming out of the corner of one of those nasty grease dumpsters, shrouded in darkness, is a lean figure dressed in all black. Um... Is it Amanda? Excuse me, Mr. Drug Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking course it's you. Is no. it? Is it the boy? No, it's a different boy. <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, oh, it's yeah. that guy. It's oh, Lucian. Oh, it's oh my Lucian's god. Lucian's son! <laughs> Go to your room! <laughs> 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 I was hoping for Raccoon Man, but this is just as good. I thought it was for some reason going to be Hugo's son. I mean, yeah, they, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Hugo's son is also hanging out behind that dumpster waiting. <laughs> Being slowly bricked up. Yeah. <laughs> so I was freaking out of the chat. <laughs> yes, he was freaking out. Surprise, the person almost jumps out of their skin. It's Lucian, Damien's son. Who sent you? We're cool, man. We're cool. Says who? For all I know, you could be with the feds. <laughs> Actually, weed is legal. Prove you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? I need I need to know that, that you're down or I bolt. Show him you're not wearing a wire. Impress him with your extensive knowledge of current drug lingo. Cite mutually assured destruction. Now listen. <laughs> I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna do the middle option, okay? <laughs> Oh god, we're gonna, we, we don't have that, but yeah, let's Listen, go for it. I've... Yeah, we need to see, we need to see this How many? beautiful car crash. Oh yeah, you know, I'm cool. Every day I'm, uh, ripping that stinky grass. You know, Stalin's uh. handiwork. The dandelion of the damned. 520? <laughs> Oh, that was. Five twenty. <laughs> okay, Matt didn't oh. like that, so now I'll load. 
What do you mean he didn't like 520? I think he didn't like it because we, got, because we lost That's him the birthday. weed. Wait, which one is the drug number? Alright, um... God. I guess... Matt's kind of hard to do. Yeah, I, I guess show him we're not wearing a wire. Or yeah. sight mutually assured destru destruction, but I... I'm gonna go with the. Chat wants three. I don't know about referencing nuclear weapons. Yeah. Chat wants three. Chat wants three. Okay. Look, man, we're trying to buy drugs from you, and we know we know you sell drugs. You have dirt on us. We have dirt on you. We're in this together now. Look, it's <laughs> fine. I get it. Buzzcut Molly said you were coming. Right now, that form now that formality's out of the way, let's make a deal. <sighs> All right. How much do you want? One. One what? Yeah. <laughs> he means weed, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, but how much? Mm, one? <laughs> oh my god, look, here. Take this and give me ten. Just don't tell my dad. Let's all forget this ever happened. I won't tell your dad if- we, I, I won't tell your dad if you won't. Lucy hands me a baggie. Also, you are you sure you've smoked weed before? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Lucian hands me a baggie of something and disappears down the alleyway. I open it and take a deep whiff. That's like genuine drugs, yes siree. Yeah, that went smoothly. <laughs> yeah, we should get off to a public property we should get off a public property before we smoke this. Hey. Great idea. Let's head back to my place, yeah. Men and I walk walk to our cul de sac and stop at a gas station on the way to buy rolling papers and soda. I feel like I'm sixteen again. You didn't buy snacks? Come on, man. <laughs> Carmen Seed is having a sleepover Dude. tonight, so that gives us all the time we need to do drugs. Oh, that is a nice house. It is very nice. Holy crap. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Awesome. Let's do some drugs. Apples. Also, this is the same guy who sent a memo to buy ice cream. Yeah, well, it was us who sent that memo to buy ice cream. And that's what yeah. we meant. Matt pulls one of the records out of his bag and puts it on for us. I pop down of a on a I pop pop down on a comfy leather couch and look around his place. There are a bunch of band posters on his, uh, and his record collection takes up an entire wall. Whoa, what a collection! I've been collecting my whole life. It was nice to finally get them all in one place. After being on the road for so much of my life, I had to ask my parents to hold on to them for me. Matt sits down next to me and we lay lay the marijuana drugs on the coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to do honors? Please tell me there's going to be a, mer a mini game. I really want there to be a mini game. Please, it's your house. If you say so. Matt pulls out some rolling papers. <laughs> Matt pulls out some rolling papers and sprinkles some of the beat nick tobacco onto the piece. He was, he was rolling it back and forth, and the paper spreads. The paper breaks almost immediately, spilling drugs all over the couch. Never was too good at this. Matt tries again and is able to successfully roll a nice looking weed cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> fucking what a narc. <laughs> he, hands, he hands me a lighter and the blunt. Nerd. I think and I take it. There you go, Bulls. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's God, open up the this, nug, this... smoke some of that gateway drug, rip that golf fair away. <laughs> <laughs> Save what? <me>. Well, apparently <laughs> he did like 520. Oh my god. <laughs> what oh, a geez. bunch of dorks. I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm leaning towards three. Rip that gold fairway, bushes. <laughs> I, I think he really doesn't like you being lame. Um... All of these are lame, though. <laughs> Yeah, but the second one seems to be lame on purpose. Maybe an ironic lame. <laughs> Maybe. Uh Save. Fair. <laughs> How about we let chat decide our fucking uh, lingo of choice? <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. We've got one three. Chat and slowly has a heart attack. Slowly. <laughs> Three, two, two. But I love being lame. Three, two, two. Sounds like the majority is saying two. It's it's equal. Uh, 
Yeah, now it's equal. Piff! It's getting no, there. No, never mind. Yeah, it's two. Okay. Mm. I thought say. She was still winning. I thought say, Piff, you should flip your forbidden coin, but it looks like time is gone. Oh. Smoke some of that Why? gateway drug. I don't know if that's what people call it. I like the joint and inhale deeply. This is not what I remembered. It's been a while though. Maybe pot drugs have just gotten more potent since last time I smoked. I pass the joint to Matt and cough a little bit. Should I sting this? Should it sting this much, or am I just a baby? What? Matt takes a hit and his eyes go wide. That's not weed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh god! What is it? Did we develop a taste what? for meth? No, no, it's. Matt takes another hit and winces. Yep, this is oregano. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was waiting oh for it. Ah, uh, we got duped hard. I sniffed the air. I mean, you only paid ten bucks for yeah. it, so it's not bad. I sniffed the air. Yep, that would definitely explain why it smells like pizza. Why it like, smells like pizza in here. That little punk ripped us off. Oh well, we can still relax and enjoy the music sober. You know what? Hey, that just means he isn't selling drugs. I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's just, like, it's just ripping people off. I mean, I'd be yeah, pretty pissed, right. though. I'll be real. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You're right. He said listen through the Diet Sig album that Matt bought, which is catchy as hell. What with the music change? Look around the room again and see photos of Carmen Cedar growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile in, in one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Oh, that's Rosa. She was Carmen Cita's mother. She died when Carmen Cita was young. I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how hard it must have been. I look around again, spotting a framed gig poster hanging on the wall. On it, there is an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive lettering, lettering reads, Stillness and dancing. Looks like they played the sound of, sound of garden all, Looks like they played the sound garden over a decade ago. Were you two in a band together? Yeah. That was the reason why I was touring so much. When I was younger, we traveled the whole country with the, in this rinky-dink little van. It was a hard start, but once we started gaining no notoriety we s and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow. That seems like a life only some people dream of. Hey. Isn't Soundgarden also just a band? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Like a really famous one? It was. Yes. And it was difficult at the same time. Couldn't have done it without some, but some, but someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. Once she became pregnant with Carmen Cita, we put down our roots in our favorite town to play in. Right here. When she was a kid, Rosa always had a dream to, to own a quiet little coffee shop. She, uh... She died before it opened. Um... So sorry. Don't be. Not really sure what to say. Quinn pauses the count a number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Hey. Matt gets up and flip Matt, Matt gets up to flip the record. Next next to the turntable. I notice a dusty piano. Do you play? Uh I'm out of practice. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Hmm. Oh yeah? I fronted the hottest seven piece ska band that, that Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. Hey. No way. You had a you play piano? Yeah. No way. You had a ska face? Yeah, he's ska kind of piano. Yeah, I know that he's a ska, but I didn't know he played the piano. Yeah. Ska's not really that well known for piano. Face? Ska never dies. Except for a ska manifest manifesto who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Yeah, Dude, mm. that's so rad. You know, I can actually kind of dig ska. I'll be real. Make fun of me all you like. But I think it's kind of good sometimes. There are some good ska. Mm. I pulls out the piano bench. Hey. Give me some of that two and tone love. Oh man, let's see if it's let's see if I still got it. Hey. Is this a rhythm game? If it's a rhythm game, I can actually play rhythm games. I'm good at those. Oh boy. Hell yeah. I sit down at the piano. Go with the classics. Stick to your skull ska roots. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh means. Hmm. What? Ska. Stick to your roots. Yeah, I believe we'd only be good at ska. Yeah. Let's, anybody else have any thoughts? No. Okay. Honestly, uh, 
No. Yeah. I don't even know who this guy is. Yeah. <laughs> Consider yourself out of the circle then. Puts on lame sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> just because we have fucked up really hard with Matt in the past, I am going to save just in case. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, I'm gonna go stick with your ska roots. Hey! I think I'm doing it. I'm playing ska! Hey, yeah. Wait. That's a smoke on the water. Matt, I've forgotten how to play. Hmm. Deep purple is always appreciated nonetheless. Alright, buddy. Can you top that? Oh. I, uh... I shouldn't. Oh, come on. No, um... Uh, I don't know. It's been a long time. Never too late to get back into it or drop it. I say we encourage him. Yeah. We already saved, so if we fuck up, then we fuck up. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Matt? If we screw up then, okay. Matt, you just sat through a butchered version of the of deep purple smoke on the water. How much how much worse can it be? Matt stares in the piano for a second. Hmm. Okay. Oh he loved that. I'm uh okay. Matt closes his eyes and runs his fingers over the keys. He breathes in deep and starts playing a melody. But I didn't know that he hadn't played the piano in a long time. Who would have never have guessed it? I played a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. Never heard this before. It's one of his original works. This is so cool. Uh -huh. Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. Hmm. How was that? That was amazing. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, man. That was killer. Are you gonna pull that out for the open mic night? Oh no, I never play at those. Well, why not? You're really good. Hmm. It's just, I don't do it anymore. I just don't like being up there and alone. Having so many people stare at, stare at me just doesn't feel fun anymore. I can say that Matt's getting comfortable with the thought of it. I won't push him any further. Alright, man, but I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Uh, hey. B thanks. Hey. Matt and I set to listen to more records until it gets late, and I decide that I need to, go to, need to get to bed. Matt walks me to my door. Let's never, let's never tell anybody about the oregano, okay? Deal. Wait, can I tell my doctor? I don't know anything about that, that the hell the effects of smoking oregano in. Hey. I think we'll be fine. Hey. Night, dude. I smile. Night. I walk inside of the house. I walk inside and the house is dark, save for a sliver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. I knock lightly on the door and enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera, editing photos. Hey, Amanda. Amanda swivels around, swivels her chair around to face me and slumps down. Mm -hmm. It smells like, it smells like a pizza parlor in here. What? Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> so? What's up? Mm -hmm. Dad, I'm hungry. Wait, no. Hi, hungry! Ah. No! I'm mm -hmm. dad! <laughs> Amanda collapses on the floor. I promised myself I'd never let it come to this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. That's your mistake too late. Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. I spike it down. I love how her thing literally slid yeah. down. Yeah, You're a monster. She's dead, dead. We killed, killed her. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. Man and I boil pasta and heat up heat up the sauce in a pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up the sauce while Amanda watches. By my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. Hmm. How was record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? Mm. No way. Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight and it was amazing. Hey. He played piano for you? Dude. Yeah. I brought it up that he should play at the open mic night that happening at his coffee shop, but he got kind of weird about it. Hey, hey I saw a flyer for that. We should go. I'd like to start a father-daughter punk band with, and play a couple of tunes there. Yeah, let me break out my Glockenspiel. What? Glockenspiel? Glockenspiel. 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 It's like it's like a xylophone, xylophone, but it's vertical. Ah, okay. <laughs> Neck out. German <laughs> scoff. Quiet contempt. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I only know how. I think I only know hot cross buns, but we can work off the chord, the chord progression. Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. They're staging an intervention for the house hunter, who is crying uncontrollably over the color of the walls. They know that they can paint the walls of their house any color they want, right? 
That song is stuck in my head all night. Let's see how we did with this date. I think we did pretty good on this one. Hopefully we did alright. We got an A rank. Man, Matt is so fucking hard. He is very hard. Buddy. Energy saving, home cooking, cool, ska, and oregano, and nuggets. <laughs> nuggets. And that Matt is just really yeah, fucking he's hard. Yeah, he's, he's afraid of people. Oh. Alright, time for the final Matt. Matt hurting himself again. Dad tip number six don't trust anybody who likes their meat well done. I mean, it's true. Rude. Hmm? <laughs> Man, nice. I say well done because almost every single chef, even if you say well done, will have it not well done. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Man, and I have spent a lot of time together lately. As we went record shopping for the first time, it sort of became a weekly tradition for us to scope out Vinyl Fantasy 7 for new releases. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what a pun! Uh... On quieter days, I'll go out to the coffee spoon just to hang out with him. I would have actively been pissed off if they said Final Fantasy VIII. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's been trying to get me to branch out from my usual black coffee, try new drinks. And th and then and they're always delicious. So I've been spending so much time with Matt, Carmen Sita, and Amanda have become really close friends. I'm really sad Carmen Sita's barely been in this route. Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't showed up really she at all. She hasn't shown up a single time. Yeah. Amanda's taking Carmen Sita under her wing, teaching her about photography. Helping her with homework and introducing her to music that's not that's not just by not just boy bands. Well, she did end up taking up to one of those scream cry dancing boy concerts so Matt wouldn't have to go. A truly heroic move. I can tell that Carmen Sita really looks up to her a lot. So it's great that Amanda try Amanda's trying to be a good mentor. Doing with Mike Nikes tonight, and Amanda is busy is busy is, Amanda and I are busy ourselves getting ready. I had to pick up a nicer outfit than usual and pace around the room. A bunch of bunch of really cool bands are going to be playing tonight, and I'm really excited to see them. I haven't, I haven't been to a show since the first time Matt and I hung out. It's, ooh, gosh, it's weird. Ever since ever since Matt played piano for me that one time, I've never been able to convince him to do it again. He told me that he also plays guitar, drums, and even the trumpet. But he still won't he still won't play any of them. Someone so passionate about music, it's strange that he doesn't want to actually play it. You ready to go, pops? I can hear Amanda in the hallway as she approaches my room. Yep. Amanda pops her head in and looks over me. She pinches the bridge of her nose. Ugh. Dad, we talked about this. What? <sighs> the sandals. They're older than I am. Vintage, some would argue. Uh, I thought you threw them out. Mm. Amanda, since when did you enroll in the Fashion Police Academy? Mm. I got kicked out because I was a loose cannon and didn't play by the rules. <laughs> for example, you're not allowed to mix florals, but you can totally, but but you can't. We totally can if you have good eyes for color. Now, I'm not allowed to say shit about fashion because I wear fucking buttoned-up floral pattern shirts. <laughs> you're out of your jurisdiction, rookie. Amanda guards on, guards guards the door until I pick out a better outfit. Stop. The sandals are are going directly into the evidence locker. What the? It's the trash. You can pry these sandals with my cold, dead hands. I, pr I propose a compromise. Fine, fine. Hmm. What do you think, dads? Compromise. Yeah. Save the sandals. They're important, <laughs> I guess. What about, uh, yam, glass, and piff? Mm. Compromise. Glass is my BRB. Yeah. Compromise, protect the sandals. Alright, I suppose a compromise it is. Yeah. I keep the sandals, but won't wear them tonight. Then we have this exact same argument the next time I try to pull them out. Ugh. I guess. Come on, Dad. We gotta go. Huh. Never seen the coffee spoon so packed. I saw familiar faces from the pup concerts concert, all slipping all sipping on their caffeinated beverages of choice. A couple people are setting up on stage. I don't see Matt, but I'm sure he's busy in the back. Amanda and Carmen see to find each other immediately and do their secret handshake. Some complicated clapping with their hands and then a big hug. Oh shit, Hugo's here. Bolzo. I turn to see Hugo. Oh shit, Hugo and Damien. 
I turn and see Hugo sitting at a table with none other than Damien. Fancy seeing you two here. Oh. I am, as you know, a dedicated patron of the arts. Hey. It's a bit of a tradition between Damien and I now. Nights open mic nights always seem to bring out the best talent, the best talent in town. Hmm. Sometimes, sometimes it gets a bit odd, even for my admittedly elect eclectic tastes. You guys see Matt around? Eclectic. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, he was just helping helping that Pablo kid get some equipment out of his van. Hmm. Whoa. Cross Cross, Vacant Veil, vale, Cross Cross is playing a set? Hmm. What? It's a... Witch House. Damien's ears perk. What? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it sounds delightful. Amanda says it isn't. Hmm. Shame. Alright, I'm gonna go find Matt and see if he needs any help. I head to the back room. Oh shit, coffee spoon back room. Head to the back room of the coffee spoon where I find Matt going over some last minute show details of Pablo. My dude! Pablo and I share a full on sincere bro hug. Glad you can make it, Bozo. Couldn't hold it, could, wouldn't miss it for the world, man. You guys need any help? Uh, I think we're all set, actually. Pablo, can you remind me what, what order people are going up in? Well, you got the you got the handsome and unforgettable uh, cross cross vacant veil cross cross opening up the set with with selections of it from his new album Witch Diaries with a triangle instead of an A. And then the third waves are who are all extremely attractive who and, and could beat me up and I'd still be into it are playing a three person acoustic set. We got a little bit of spoken we we got a little bit of a spoken word in there a magic act and then it looks like we're closing with. Jonathan Jones in the Speak Se Speak Easy Choir. No, absolutely not. I remember the ridiculous set that this band put on when they opened up for Pup. Some sometimes when it when it's quiet, I can still hear the sounds of an accordion being violently thrown against the wall over and over. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> they weren't that bad. No, you don't understand. Last time they played open mic night, they lit their bassist on fire, and the fire marshal had to shut us down. They also refuse to pay for their drinks. Yikes. Huh? They are not playing tonight. Well, they're outside, all 17 of them. Uh, <laughs> you know, a part of me hopes this suddenly turns into a side scroll or beat em up. <laughs> Tell them we're full. Who's filling their spot? Uh. Oh, fuck. Um. We have to pick. Our <laughs> choices are I'll do it or Matt, you should play. <laughs> I am saving since the last date. Uh, uh, I think pressuring him into it might not be the best. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. This is um, a he's afraid of everything. It's true. I think I think he should say, I'll do it, and then Matt will feel bad and help you. Yeah, emotionally, I am Matt, so you should no, say, he's I'll not alone do on the stage. it. Yeah. You yeah, should self -sacrifice. say, I'll do it. Go for yeah, it. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll play. Telling him to do it will make him sad. What are you doing? Oh. What? You, 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 what would you even do? Stop talking! Close your mouth! The Scommunist Manifesto is making a comeback solo show. Mm. I didn't know how to play anymore. You don't know how to play anything anymore! What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck <laughs> is that noise? <laughs> uh, something just started playing in the background and it scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Scott comes to you in the hour when you need him most without fail. Stop being so desperate yeah. to please your hot friend, Bolzo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is there a keyboard around? Your unending thirst will be your ultimate downfall! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have one right here. Then it's settled. Dude, are you sure? No! I'm not! <laughs> As sure as ska <laughs> is generally played with st staccato notes and on the upbeat. Well, as long as nothing gets set on fire, it can't possibly be worse than Jonathan Jones and the Speak Seed Speak Easy Choir. Matt grabs me by the shoulders and stares into my eyes. Hey. Thank you, Bozo. I owe you big time. I settle back in my seat with Amanda and watch the show start. The house is packed now with a few people even standing outside to watch. What have I got myself into? <laughs> Amanda, I may have made a mistake. <laughs> 
Amanda, yeah. I'm going to die. <laughs> Dad, if you bought a if you bought a brand new a, a brand new pair of those sandals in hopes that I would be okay with you wearing them, I swear to I agreed to pull out my ska. No. Oh god, it's playing again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I had to to help Matt. Dad, I love you and I support you, but we left but we left ska behind for a reason. Look. Tired of this, we're in a splash zone for a group of 20 musicians all crying at the same time for the sake of art. <laughs> and I'm not being hyperbole, 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 hyperbolic about the splash zone. It's saying, they, they literally hand out ponchos. Somehow, this is the preferable option. I just have to play the thing. Play what thing? You don't know how to play any instruments. Just promise me you'll still love me after this. I promise. <laughs> but I may have to change my last Starter name. Stronger than I am, girl. <laughs> but I may have to change my last name, and I hope you'll understand. Of course. <laughs> my new last name is going to be Fire Blast. <laughs> Amanda. Add it, girl. Or maybe Cold Steel. Mm. Matt takes the stage to roar and applause from the crowd. He grabs the mic and addresses us all. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. Matt's so nervous. And I'm so nervous. I can't stop staring at his mouth, that makes me even more nervous. We have a jam-packed roster of amazing local talent who you might already know, or maybe have even seen them before, but would, would like to see again. And I'm rambling now, sorry. Aw, oh, Matt. So, um, let me just bring on our dear, a dear friend of mine who is making his, his, his live show debut. Please welcome him to the stage. Cross, cross, vacant veil, cross, cross. <laughs> The crowd cheers again and Pablo bounces onto the stage, beaming. He sets up his two laptops and keyboards and launches into his set. Thank you everyone. This one's called Witch House Never Dies and you're next. What? <laughs> what? I mean, at least it's positive. Pablo hits the crowd with a heavy, insatiable synth, synth bass layered under drum oh, samples no. and clips this from science fiction shows played in reverse. It's maybe huh. not the right show for this, but everyone seems to be enjoying whatever this is. At, this, at the end of the song, Pablo jumps on the mic. Thank you. Thank you to all the veil wearers out who came out came out tonight. A portion of crowd cheers. He has a fan base already? He has a name for the fan base? This is his first live show. You can buy t-shirts out of the trunk in my, in my car after the show. <laughs> also, I'd like to thank my mom for coming out to watch me play. You're a rock, ma. Love you, honey. Pablo plays a few more songs that are actually super fun to listen to. Wow, definitely not see that coming. I just have to remind strongly worded thoughts about the genre. Oh. Once he's done, and once once he's once he's done, he vacates the stage and he and Matt, Matt jumps back up again. They round of applause to our very own Pablo, who coincidentally works here. Yay, Pablo! Hmm. And hey, uh, next up are a group of young laddies who have been tearing up the East Coast with Riot Punk for three years now. Oh. Years. I, I meant years. Three years. Sorry. They're writing on my hand smudge because I'm not- because I'm- because I'm sweating. I shouldn't have told you all I'm sweating. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, no. Wow, he seems visibly nervous, I feel, right now. Put your hands together for... The Third Waves! Buzzcut Molly from mm -hmm. Final Fantasy VII takes a stage followed by two girls with colorful hair and, and fishnet stockings. All of them were wearing combat boots, and all of them look, look, look mad about something. Instead, it's so energetic, it seems like it seems like a pit is going to open up in the coffee shop. I'll go over to Amanda, who's clearly enjoying the hell out of an out of anarchic female-fronted punk rock. Uh -huh. Dad, can I get a lip ring? Sure, you pay for it yourself. Come on, it's no fun if I if I if it's not an act of youthful re rebellion. After the third wave close out their set, of a variety of acts play out, play to the delight of and play to the delight and sometimes horror of the crowd. The magician tries to turn out turn turn a cup of coffee into a cup of coins, but ends up spilling hot coffee all over himself and dropping the coins. As each act leaves the stage and gets more and more nervous. I get more and more nervous. There are so many people here. I don't know anything about how to play the piano or other than it has keys and you have to touch the keys to make make sounds. Also, I almost spill the flat white stripes in my hand because it's trembling so much. No joke, Dad. I'm rooting for you. You're gonna knock him dead. Thanks, Manda Panda. An improv comedy group takes the stage. They take suggestions from the crowd and end up doing a scene that was supposed to be about coffee, but instead turns into five minutes of dick jokes. Classic. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time laughing. My stomach is tying itself into knots. Not just regular knots, either. Like, the kind of knots you get when you throw your phone charger, headphones, and laptop charger into the same bag. 
Out of nowhere, Matt sits down next to me. Hey, are you doing okay? I'm totally fine. Everything is great or nothing is wrong. <laughs> I think Bolso would... I think, no, these are <laughs> options. I think Bolso... Everything is great because so far, everything has been great about the show. Yeah. I think uh, also Bolso would 100% go, everything is great. <laughs> <laughs> I Listen, also feel like, like nothing is say... wrong is very also as well. Hmm. Yeah, like he would just say all of them in that way. Yeah, no. <laughs> I want to reassure him that I'm okay, but I just can't get the words out. Um, here. All right, just making sure. I know you're going to do great, Bolzo. I squeeze my shoulder and jogs back up on that jogs back up, jogs back up to the stage. Everybody, we're down to the last act, act of the night. Now this person, who is my friend, is making their return to the stage after a long hiatus. Please welcome, formerly the Scommunist Manifesto, Bozo Zix. <laughs> Everyone cheers I take the stage. Damien and Hugo are staring at me in shock. <laughs> God. Uh, oh yeah, your friends are here. Have yeah. fun. Uh, hey everybody, good to be here. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. Great crowd. Uh, my name is Bozo. You, you can call me by my stage name. Frankie Two-Tone. Five Iron Freddy or Thomas Cal Calnoki. Uh. Council. <laughs> Frankie Two Tone. Frankie Two Tone is the classiest one that I can see. Yeah. <laughs> but which one is the most ska? I mean, if it's playing off of Communist Manifesto, the most Russian sounding one, which is the last one. Yeah. We can ask the, uh, let's ask chat this time. Why not? Chat, which, which, which name we taking? Let's see. Silence. Yep. <laughs> This is your shame. So far we got three threes, uh, a one, two twos, wow. Yeah. What's the majority seem like? Uh, it looks like three right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got no, one and one. one is making a comeback. Oh, one's making a comeback? Dang, we all divided, huh? Oh boy. Piff, your your what? coin. <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh, okay. What do you? Um, I think it's between. Go with... I think it's between two and three. Yeah. Um. So. Um. Uh. Fucking. Uh. Two heads. Heads. Two. two three tails. Got it. Uh, unlucky pig says tails. <laughs> okay. Tails. It is three. Thank you, Lucky Larry. My unlucky yeah. penny. <laughs> uh, the crowd claps politely. I sit down at the piano. It's a lot of keys. That's so many keys. Do pianos usually have this many keys? God. Mm. These lights are really bright. <laughs> Someone coughs. I guess, uh... Guess that's some good stage banner. And now I have to... Play a song. This song is called... Oh, God. Beam Me Up, Ska T. Oh, no. <laughs> No. Deep breath. How hard can it be? Oh, fuck. It's a rhythm game! <laughs> no matter how disastrous this is, I have to make it through this whole song and I'll have saved the day. Here goes nothing! Oh, it's a... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's a minigame. Please sing along. You can do it. Pick it up, pick it up, you pick it up. Jiggle Pick it up, oh, oh, oh. Singing that ska, easy ska tune. Unity, unity. Watch us fill up the room. Rude boy is coming for you. Take warning. If you don't ska, if you don't skank tonight, it will be alarming. <laughs> I. <laughs> God. Everybody, Ska, beam me up, Ska T. 
beam, beam me up to the Ska Trek oh Enterprise. God, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's a piano solo, okay. Remember, be classy. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Smacking them keys. <laughs> <laughs> Open like surgeon Back simulator. Of I don't know how I'm supposed to do this because it's control super weird. I think maybe that's the point. Maybe you're not supposed to win this one. You just open palms. <laughs> Doing your best deserves an S. <laughs> <laughs> I look up at the crowd. I see a bunch of people shifting in their seats. Oh no, I'm losing them. <laughs> Ska really is dead, yeah. and I killed it. <laughs> oh, Everybody, Ska! Everybody, Ska! Oh. Like a checkerboard tie wearing Angel descending from two tone heaven, Matt walks on stage playing the guitar. We lock eyes, and he gives me a reassuring smile as he effortlessly plays the chords to the song. I look up to and see the crowd go wild as Matt, if Matt with to Matt's appearance on stage. Everyone's bouncing now, bouncing around now. It fills me with renewed energy as I. We jump into the chorus. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up to the Scotty, to the Ska Trek Enterprise. Hey. Uh. Matt jumps into an improvised solo that was way better than the one that one Darren Springstead wrote in high school. We make it to the end of the song in one piece, and the crowd goes wild. I'm moist with sweat, head to toe. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Stella. The crowd practically screams. They all start chanting Matt's name. Oh. You want to hear you play, man? Hmm. Matt smiles. Hey. I think I'm ready. I excuse myself from the stage and take Aww. my seat next to Amanda as, as Matt cozies up to the microphone. <laughs> I take back what I said about Ska. That was pretty cool. I high-five Amanda and we look towards the stage. Oh. Hey, everybody. No more cheers. I haven't played in front of people in a long time. But it's cool to be back. This one goes out to a good friend. Matt locks eyes with me. We both smile. Who helped me to be, be able to do this again. Thank you. There's no one from stillness, from, from stillness, the dancing. The entire crowd excitedly jumps to their feet. I close his eyes and starts playing an upbeat, in intricate melody. The crowd sways to the music. Matt looks entirely at peace with a small smile on his face as he sings. After he finishes the song, the crowd insists on an encore. He plays. He ends up playing a few more tunes to an adoring audience before thanking everybody for coming out. Then when he steps off stage, he gets mobbed by people. Everybody seems to be amazed that he's playing again. Ah. Damon and Hugo thread their way to the crowd to talk to me. Oh. That was amazing. Mm. It was certainly a sight. Do they make industrial dark wave ska? Huh. I'm not too sure if that genre exists, but it's never too late to start a band, apparently. <laughs> I glance back over to the mad who's hugging a bunch of people. They really seem excited to see him play. Oh. Well, yeah. He hasn't played it played since he lost Rosa. What? Ah. I didn't realize. It suddenly all makes sense why Matt was so reluctant to play. It was taking so much from the jump on stage went with me just now. The crowd slowly filters out into the street as, show, as the show ends. I decide to stick around a little longer to see if I can talk to Matt. Mm. Hey, I think Carmen Cita to get ice cream. Is it okay if she sleeps over? We're going to paint our nails and start a punk band. Yeah, go have fun. Just please don't wake up the neighbors with any biting with any biting truths about the government or whatever. Don't worry, we'll, we'll wake them up figuratively instead. Amanda and Carmen Cita bumps fists and head out. I spot Matt fishing, fishing, <laughs> finishing up conversations with a couple of stragglers on the on the way out of the coffee shop. Hey, Matt. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Need help closing up? Hey. I'd love that. Matt and I stack up chairs and sweep the, sweep the floor in silence. We carry the stage equipment back to, Ma to Matt's van where we, we, we see Pablo selling merch to a crowd of people out of his trunk. Shirts of the finest quality. Every step, every step of production from, from thread to stitch, overseen by yours truly. Graphic designs fit for a king. That kid's gonna go far. Hey. Head back into the coffee spoon and Matt pulls, puts the finishing touches on closing. When we're all done, Matt and I lean up against the counter. And you're saving me from myself up there. All, all in all, it ended up being pretty cute. Huh? Plus, you protected us from Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. Someone told me that they tried to do a street performance down down the road and they all got arrested for trying to perform a human pyramid in traffic. It feel good mm -hmm. to be on stage again? Oh. Yeah, it really did. I, um, 
Or at least I'll play after your wife died, and then realize that it had, that it had been that long. Uh, yeah. I was like, I looks like he wants to say something, but having a hard time getting it out. He takes a deep breath. I'm not really a people person, um, obviously. Crowds make me nervous as hell, which is uh, not exactly the best for performing live music. But when I was with Rosa, she lit up the room. I could follow her lead. After she passed, I was lost. Even touching a guitar hurt too much. I tried playing for people over and over, but the music would never come out, so I just gave up. I guess what I'm trying to say is, life wasn't this scary when I had someone in my corner, someone I felt safe with. I um, hadn't felt like that for a long time. Until tonight. What changed? You. Blood rushes to my face. I saw you looking so scared on stage, it reminded me of myself, and I don't want to—I don't want anybody else to have to feel that bad. But when I got up there and started playing for the first time in forever, I felt comfortable. I was having fun. I spent all this time being so afraid of performing that I just forgot how much I loved it. The strength gave me strength. Whenever you were trying to or not, you got me out of my comfort zone. So, thank you. Give me one second. My dog's whining. Okay. Seems like the date went well. This is a good bean. A good coffee bean. I was hoping someone would do that. Okay. <laughs> your strength gave- Then your wish is great. Your strength gave me strength. Yeah. Whenever you were trying to or not, you got, out, got me out of my comfort zone, so... Thank you. And you've helped me realize that I can do this. I'm glad I could help. You coming on stage? I didn't think you would stick. I, I didn't think you would stick your neck out for me like that, especially considering all of this. That really means a lot to me. Well, you mean a lot to me. Mad and I, Mad and I lock eyes. He leans in. He leans in and kisses me, quick and soft. He pulls away and covers his mouth. What? Oh God, I'm 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 Aww. sorry. I uh, sorry. I can't believe I just did that. Hmm. Neither can I, but. I'm glad you did. Kiss him again. Our lips touch again. I brush his hair out of the out of the way and rest my hands on the small on on the small of his back. Matt pulls me closer. Everything about him is sweet and soft. His lips taste like vanilla. He smells like coffee cake. I can feel him. I can feel him smile through the kiss, which makes me smile. He laughs into my mouth, and I can I can't help but laugh too. Our teeth are knocking against each other. Ow. <laughs> The moment I opened my eyes, I realized we're still leaning against the, the espresso machine. Maybe the coffee shop isn't the right place for this. Maybe you're right. Let's go back to my place. Ooh. Date complete! Let's see. Yeah, we got an S rank! Yay! We slowly made our way up from hell! This man was a harder to date than Robert. Yeah. And Robert was hard as shit no, to date. <laughs> he was yeah. afraid of everyone. I understand you, Matt. I me too. Let's see let's let's oh, look at man. our stats. Bowling is good. Sincerity good. Band puns bad. Grunge, zero. Guitar, pretty uh crab work, really good. Now let's just be gra glad grunge stayed dead. Because that would have been dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't do grunge, kids. It might kill you. Isn't that what Alanis Morissette did? Maybe. It's a type of music. That was also a bit of my Canadian coming out. <laughs> Let's see, it's the party thing, so we're just skipping through. Till we get to the new shit. Uh -huh. skip, 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 skip. Yeah. We're skipping. It's all the dads. Alright, let's see. What the if there's any new dialogue here. Yeah. Oh shit, it's Pablo. Bolzo, my dude. Pablo, how's the shirt business going? My bud, I got men's shirts, I got women's shirts, I got tank tops in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. 
Yet I'm not wearing any yeah. of them. <laughs> Gotta show off my midriff. Each one of them is of fine quality. It's screen printed with the logo of Visage of World Renowned Witch House Outfit, Cross Cross Vacant Veil, Cross Cross. Purchasable at the moment, respectable uh, at most respectable retailers. And more specifically, out of the trunk of my car. I'm also <laughs> selling my mom's world famous homemade, homemade apple butter. That's rad! I can dig that. Ooh. Never stop hustling, Pablo. Baby, you got it. Let's see, is Brian gonna be a dick? <laughs> do to do. Oh. Alright, Craig. As they run around, I don't immediately skip through these. I just don't want to miss any fucking new shit. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. It's, it's weird hearing the fucking voices for these characters because, like, they don't have fully voice acted lines, but, like, yeah. Let's see. Oh, boy. Uh, I wonder if this one's different, uh, since we already did, since we already did Damien's, right? I wonder how different this one is. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. I stare at Lucian. He knows. I know. But I am a man of my word. <laughs> the story of his oregano betrayal will go unsung. Guess we're coming by. I spot Amanda and Carmen Sita in a corner of, in a corner of, part of the party. I wonder what they're up to. As I walk up, I can tell that they're already deep, deep in conversation. Listen, it's like prison rules. First day of high school, you gotta establish yourself at the top of the pecking order. Really? No, just find a group of group of people you like and hang out with them. Be yourself. Don't worry about being cool. You'll find friends. Try not to kiss anyone who, who also try not to kiss anybody who has braces. You get stuck, kiddo. Hey guys. Hey, Amanda's dad. Carmen Cita's here. To have Carmen Cita's here. Here's getting ready for high school. Got any advice? When you join a band, pick the easiest instrument to carry. I'm still walking a little sideways from my from my sousaphone days. Hmm. Flute it is. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you guys to it. Carmen Cita and me. Carmen Cita, me and Amanda still on still on for dinner. And um, oh god, Carmen Cita, me and me and Amanda still on for dinner with you and your pops tomorrow. Yes, we're already planning a carrot cake for you guys. I better keep making rounds to keep on. I leave keep keep firing. Right, we're at the end bit. Okay. Alright. I take a seat next to Matt as as the last guest made their way out of the party. He's like Amanda's really enjoyed this. Thanks for putting thanks for putting together such a nice surprise. Come and see this middle school graduation's come up in a year or two. I'm sure for the right fee, I could I could put something together. <laughs> Only if I get the DJ. I looks down at his hands. It seems like he does does that does that whenever he's trying to figure out the right words to say. Hey, I just want to say that. Ah, oh gosh, this is going to come out dumb no matter how I say it. So here goes. I haven't felt this happy in a long time. Whoa, you 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 brought out the best of me. It wasn't just because of the scar. Although it really was cute. <laughs> Every moment that we've gotten to spend together since we've since we've met has been an adventure, and I just hope that we can keep doing that. You make a pretty good team, you know. I mean, I'll let you handle the music playing, and that and the music singing, and actually pretty much everything related to the music. But I can organize a party pretty well. I'm also good at kissing, so that's a big plus. That's true. <laughs> you are very nice to kiss. I slide my arm around my arm around Matt and run my fingers through his hair, giving giving him a small kiss on the cheek. He giggles. See, that was a good one. And hey, I've actually been working on some new stuff. It feels really great to be writing again. Oh man, Matt, that's amazing. I'd love to listen to it sometime. If, I mean, if you're comfortable sharing it with me, maybe I could show you some new tunes. I'm working on the studio later. You know I'm going to insist that we add a horn section. Matt rests his head on my shoulder and sighs happily. You know what? I'd actually like that. Yay! Yay! Route complete! Yay! Yay! That was good. 
We fucked up a lot this time. <laughs> he's, he's afraid of people. Be nice to him. <laughs> he's a big cat. Yeah. Let's take a look at the map pin up. It's him with a coffee cup. Whoa, shit, that's way saucier than I was expecting. Oh, like, boy. it's still safe. Like, it's. I can't wait. Like. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yo. That's a private picture. <laughs> oh! I was expecting something awkward and. So far, all of them have just been, like, with the dads, like, with their shirts unbuttoned and stuff. Like, that's what the pinup photos have always been so far. Dad pictures. Oh, here. Dude, that tattoo goes up way farther than yeah. I thought. Yeah, you can kind of see it poking over when it's shirt. Really nice tattoo, though. Do you ever nice see a bully? No. Damn. I mean, also, don't blame the artist not wanting to do a full sleeve tattoo. Yeah. That was a good route. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. I'm probably going to end the stream in just a bit. But let me see if we have any fan art. Do. Oh, nope, looks like we don't have any fan art this time. So, huh. I guess it's just a good old time to end the stream. Uh, Thank y'all for hanging out and make sure yeah. that you don't smoke oregano. Yep. Yeah. That's good advice. Right. Double check your dealers or something. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.